I'm getting calls all day. Oh, you're in town, you're in town, you're in LA, because I'm, I'm not out here a lot. So they're like, yo, come by the studio, come to this Usher session, come to this, come to that. Like, they just called me earlier today, and they're like, can you stay for another week? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I just can't. I mean, I could be working all the time, and I could be the most successful cat and all that, but then I just, I wouldn't have my family with me. I just think that's what it's about. That's crazy. Man, that's a clip from a, a, a documentary called As Long As I Got You. And it's a really powerful documentary by, by our future pro, uh, featured producer today, a man I've known for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Been very familiar with his work. Uh, whether he's working with the Rough Riders, Afu Ra, uh, Jeremiah, K. Michelle, uh, G. E. I mean Jeezy, uh, Lil Wayne, Fifty Cent, Fabulous, Drake, Cardi B, P. and B. Rock, and more. I mean the list goes on. Did it's I say heavy. Bruno Mars? It's a lot. Did I say Bruno Mars? You're saying it now. Word. And Bruno Mars, welcome Needles. What's up, what's up, what's up? To the show. Don't word, word. That Z. <laughs> Needles. Yeah, word. To the show. Appreciate having you yeah, having me, man. Uh, this doc, first of all, congratulations on your career. Thanks, brother. Amen. I appreciate that, man. This is a man from the Midwest. Word. Wow. Lansing, Michigan. Word. All they got is a, we'll take a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Come on, they probably yeah, it's not, it's, not a, it's not a lot going on, man. It's good Mike people, Mills, though. Mike Mills is from Lansing. Magic Johnson, I think East Lansing yeah. or Lansing. Yeah, he's from, Lan from Lansing. From uh, Lansing. Uh, Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Oh, people, you know. they got legacy. They yeah. got history. Yeah. And Who now they got needles. Right. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Go. All right. Then how did you make the move from Michigan to uh, where? To man, I, I NYU? Went to, you went to NYU? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I just went to I went to FAM. Uh, I'm from from high school. Went to FAM, and then after that, I went to NYU for grad school. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, they had a, a music business program. A part of that uh, program was for me to intern, and I interned for Puffy at Bad Boy. At Bad Boy. Yep. And then uh, that's kind of how I got my start, just hustling in that system. How did you, did, were you doing music already? Or? I just started making beats when I started interning at, uh, at at NYU and interning for for Bad Boy. And they, you know, as an intern, you know, everybody has their little hustle. They asked me what my hustle was. I was like, Yo, I got these little beats that just started, and they liked them, and they started shipping my music out with the rest of the hitmen. So it was Stevie J uh -huh. and all those cats. Wow. So my stuff started circulating around. I started getting placements like that and the rest of it. Were you still able to enter to balance nah, it? I, nah, <laughs> I, I did shortly after I got a couple placements. Transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, but, of, some of those artists of that time, mm -hmm. um, who were some of the artists at that time that your music was fe uh, featuring uh, your music? Shoot, uh, man, I really, my, my biggest... So I guess my first wave was the whole G Unit wave. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, I will say I did start with Afu Ra, Drag mm -hmm. On, that mm -hmm. whole Rough Riders wave. But then I caught the, you know, Piggy Bank with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. uh, God gave me style. Uh, Young Bucks first single, Let mm -hmm. Me In. Mm -hmm. Gang, Lloyd Banks. Gangsta yeah. shit. Lloyd Banks. That whole, that whole squad um, did uh, a lot of stuff for Lupe. Uh huh. Um, and that was just, that was, <laughs> what was dope about it is it was a great period of music. You know what I mean? So it was definitely inspiring. So it went from that. Um, and then things kind of slowed down up here, at least at the time, just because like the South came with all this stuff, and I thought it was a trend. Uh huh. And it's uh, still going. It's still it's going, going, brother. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm gonna sit this one out. Yeah. He was sitting for a long ass time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You start yeah. trapping. Yeah, yeah. I went. I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I moved down south. I moved to Atlanta, mm -hmm. which, is, which is where I am now. And and then I think the first record I got off was uh, Drake. Uh, with I'm going in. And, uh huh. I'm and then, going yeah. In. yeah, 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 yeah. One of the best I songs. I want to Buka. You hear what's happening? I'm going you regular Raptor. You hear what you are dealing with right here, right? Yeah, yeah he finna he finna body that beat in a second. Okay, there it is already. Let's um, go. Bruno Mars. Um, just, just the way you are. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, what Yo, are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that song was made for Lupe. I really? did, yeah, I did that. I did that track for Lupe, and we wanted Adam Levine to be on the hook. Uh huh. And <laughs> we that. were like, we, you know, we went to the label. They're like, uh, we love the song, but we're not gonna be able to get Adam Levine. We're gonna put this new cat on there. His name is Bruno Mars. And I was like, man, I don't, I don't want no Bruno Mars. You know what I'm saying? But they put him on there. You know what I'm saying? Cause he wasn't Bruno Mars. This is he was brand new. But then right. had you heard him before? Like I think he had nothing on you with B O B or yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It, after a couple months, it ended up being his first single as opposed to Lupe's, and it took off. It went diamond, and it's mm, just been. Look at that. Yeah. Let's take a listen to this real quick. <laughs> take a chance, man. what money sounds like if you're a producer. <laughs> 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 it's okay, okay. 
<laughs> just no. Wait, just not today. Not today, Sway. Remember, you said he was a great listener. Prove it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, no love right here. Yeah. <laughs> see, and see, their attitude towards me is what your attitude was towards Bruno Mars. Well, <laughs> and then look what happened look what with happened. you and Bruno Mars. Yeah, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Not equivalent. You connected? Yeah, I got you, brother. <laughs> what um, of a needle. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a lot of big, impactful things. There's not enough time today to really dig and dive in it, but I was just one of the citizens that tune in to, to get us a little bit of the surface. But one of the most um, inspiring and powerful things you've done is releasing this 15-minute short film um, called As Long As I Got You. And it's right now circulating in a lot of music um, mu um, film festivals. Um, it's an independent thing, correct? Yes, correct. That you put together. Can you give us the, the premise of this 15-minute film? Yeah, basically, it, it highlights, um, you know, my life as a producer, um, someone that's been an entrepreneur since, I mean, tw I guess 20 years in, in at this point. Uh, my family, which is, you know, my, my wife and three kids, and uh, my, my middle child, uh, Michaela, is autistic. So that just brings a whole other dynamic to just the everyday family family life. It's, it's, uh, it's something that you know, when you wake up, you have, you know, you gotta be aware. Where's Where's Michaela? Mm. Are the doors locked? Uh, it, you know, she's not potty trained. It's a lot of just, it's it's, it's a lot. It could be a lot. So I just really wanted to bring um, awareness, uh, uh, just some more awareness to autism, especially in the black community, which I think is is really important because we we often get um, diagnosed late, mm -hmm. and we often get misdiagnosed. And then you see, you know, the little kids get kicked out of class and stuff. They don't really, <clears throat> really know what's going on with them. But a lot of times they haven't been diagnosed correctly. So that's that's really what I wanted to, wanted to bring light to. And and it's a short film. It's it's really a love story. It's kind of like my love for music and what and you know, kind of what it means to me as well as, um, you know, my family and just you know everything that we're dealing with. So uh, you, you say that in the beginning of the film too. You talk about how love is such a universal language. It's a absolutely. connector that, and that's why love songs. Uh, works so well. Mm -hmm. um, and then another thing I noticed in the doc is a lot of us, like a lot of people in this room, have had to sacrifice family yeah. for opportunity, for opportunities, yeah. right? Like think how many holidays you missed or, you know, birthdays yeah. you missed because we out here on the grind, Buka's on the grind, regular reptiles on the grind. Yeah. And this, we saw the reverse. Mm -hmm. You had to sacrifice potential opportunities yeah. To be with your family, yeah. Because at the end of the day, you can make all the money in the world. You just you gotta go come home to somebody or, yeah. or nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's just it's just such an important. Like Usher wanted you in the studio or some shit. Yeah. You couldn't do it. Yeah, they called me for an Usher session. I mean, they, they if if it was up to you know my management, publishing, and all this, I would be out there uh -huh. nonstop working and working. But I just really, for me, it's really important to have that work and family life. I really want my kids to know me. Have I want to teach my son how to dribble and, Amen. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. you know, the homework. I mean, that's kind of how I grew up, you know what I mean? We had dinner at a table, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And that I think that stuff is really important, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as, you know, a lot of the stuff they, that our kids see is really how they're going to grow up. Yes. I mean, it's a big, big, mm -hmm. big, and, I, and I'm seeing it more and more where, you know, a lot of issues um, just carry over into to adulthood. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just, I just want to, I want my parents to see two, two parents, I want um, both of us to be involved and, you know, the money's going to come and go. But I mean, what you got at the end of the day is your family. Yeah, I mean, especially if us are trying to get you to, you're going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. um, this is Needles, man. Give out your social real quick. Word. This, uh, at... P R O D B Y N E E D L Z. That's produced by Needles. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can follow me there. P R O D B Y N E E D L Z. We got Shay from Washington State is on the line. Shay, good morning. What up, Shay, what's Shay? good? Hey, good morning, y'all. What up, um, Shay? I just had a question for Needles. I wanted to know what kind of um, production program do you use? Do you use like. Pretty loops or uh, reason or what do you use? I'm I'm uh I'm still in the NPC. I'm a little bit of an old head, but it's a it's a program that I mean it actually was a machine back in the day and they kind of updated. So that's my that's my uh instrument of choice per se. You know what I'm saying? I can't okay, get rid cool. of it. 
You still using the MPC? <laughs> the MP, yo, but it's different. They they they've updated. It's like a little hybrid thing that they got going. It works. Hey man, whatever makes whatever makes the, the, whatever makes the record. record. But they broke, don't fix Absolutely, it. Absolutely, brother. All right, um, we're gonna play this song from the debut album. Is it Kairos? Yes, Kairos. And that's Nicole Bus. Yep. And Nicole Bus is um, a Rock Nation artist. She's a Rock Nation. I um, discovered her in Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, a, of a few years ago, uh, executive produced her project, did produce 10 records, in, and uh, it's been a passion project of mine. Like a lot of times, I'll go out, do you know, do singles for cats, and then go and do passion projects. Mm -hmm. And this is one of mine. It's just basically um, outside of her having an amazing voice, it's, a, it's kind of an ode to like 90s hip hop. So if you listen to the album, you'll hear flips from like Cream, you know, we flip Cream, we flip. Black Moon joints, mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of stuff What's we can go. Moon uh, 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 sh uh, what is it? Um, don't don't fuck up for us, all right? No, why am I Johnny Blake? Give him, give him some water. Yeah, no. Nah. He got the water. Yeah, no, nah, we flipped. Uh, we flipped Tom's Diner. We flipped a lot of a lot do, of records. Do, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. We flipped. Um, I don't know if you got Rain. Rain. We got Rain. Yeah, play 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 Maybe that you know joint. Yeah, you know. Shit. I don't know if you got. <laughs> <laughs> Word, but that's 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 kind of like I mean the first single you was a flip of cream and we just wanted to bring you know some feeling back back the, to the R &B. first single was uh, moving so rapid on them Billboard the R and B adult charts Word. right yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, that was the you so we're gonna play Rain right now Nicole Bus new album Cairo is available now citizens love introducing you to new artists here she is we got the cipher up next. Woo! 